Howard Safir is, is the former New York Fire Department commissioner. Commissioner, it's great, great to have you on the phone. I so appreciate this. I didn't mean to interrupt your, your New Year's Eve, but when you see something like this, what is your first thought? Well, my first thought when I first saw the large volume of planes was that this was going to be a disaster. But then I, I remembered that this building was built in 2008. And after 9-11, the kind of construction that was done in the high rises, especially in a place like Dubai, uh, involved a lot of fireproof material on the interior, uh, special elevators for firefighters, pressurized staircases for evacuation. And I know the Dubai Fire Department is very well equipped, well trained, and there have been lots of evacuation drills done in this particular building. Uh, I actually was in that building uh, a number of years ago when I was in Dubai, not there for looking at fire safety, but I remember it was a very modern, well constructed building. Okay, that's what we were wondering because it looked like it spread pretty quickly. So they had said it spread 20 floors. Uh, to my untrained eye, it looked way more like 40 or 50 floors. But fireproof material on the inside would not predicate that we wouldn't see it spread on the outside, which is the picture we are looking at from earlier. Yeah, and the, the Dubai Fire Department is reporting that it is 90% under control. Do you believe that? And that, and that it did not spread uh, to the interior of the building. You know, and so all I can do is take them at their word of what I read on the Internet, but it appears that way. And, you know, the evacuation process seems to have worked well in the fact that, you know, it is not uncommon when you're evacuating, you know, hundreds or thousands of people that there are minor injuries. Yeah, not, not a surprise because they were saying, and there were reports, I don't know if you heard this, but massive crush in the stairwells, which would not be a surprise. We remember that that reporting from 9-11 in the World Trade Center towers. It's just a, a horrible thought, for, especially for anybody who's claustrophobic, certainly. But when you talk about uh, new fire regulations post 9-11, can you articulate what they might be? Would there be alarms on every floor? There would be sprinklers every X number of feet? Well, not only sprinklers, there would be redundant sprinkler systems so that if one system failed, the other would be in place. There would be a dedicated uh, elevator for the fire department that would be contained in a concrete shaft mm -hmm. so that fire in the building wouldn't affect it so the firefighters could get to a higher floor. Uh, the stairwells would be, number one, they would be wider in the, in the new building, and they would be positive pressurized, which means there would be air being blown into there on a regular basis so that a fire wouldn't flash over or go in, into the stairwells and cause smoke inhalation or death. Uh, it would be... Uh, places of refuge that were constructed so that people could wait out the uh, fire with special ventilation. Now, I don't know if all of these things are in the building, but it would not surprise me. I, I wonder often how you put out a fire in a 63-story building because the fire department cranes, the, the fire trucks, those ladders don't reach that high. What do you do? Well, you, know, you just wait? Well, you know, it, it's not the fire department ladders that put out that kind of building. Uh, the fire department ladder trucks are primarily used for rescue, not to put out fire. Got it. Uh, what puts out fires in a high-rise building, and almost every high-rise fire that has taken place in the last 15 years has been put out by the building sprinkler systems. Do you, from what you can see of these pictures, are the sprinkler systems working, Howard? Well, it, it, it appears to me to be on the exterior of the building. Yeah. So if anything was coming inside, I assume the sprinkler system put it out. If you look at the building, you look at the, at least the way I see it on TV, if you look at the right side of the building, it's totally, or was, totally engulfed in flames on the exterior. But the three quarters of the rest of the building, there are no flames. Um, Commissioner, before we let you go, uh, we know that NYPD is very busy in Times Square. What's NYFD doing, FDNY? What are they doing? Are they standing by a couple of blocks away? Oh, what, what is their oh, role? Absolutely. On? Well, you know, there, there, there are 176 firehouses in the city. So there are, there, you know, there are so many firehouses in the city because they were originally designed where a horse could get within five minutes. So there are wow. fire response is about four minutes in most places in the city so they can get just about everywhere but they're they're on special alert their hazmat material group is on special alert I'm sure that you know the emergency medical service is now part of the fire department that we merged them when I was fire commissioner 
Uh, there are ambulances staged all around Times Square ready to respond if there is a necessary for any kind of mass uh, emergency. But you know, the good news is we have the best response emergency uh, departments in the world in New York City. And the NYPD has done this often and will continue to do it well. And the fire department is ready in case of any emergency, whether it's a fire or a medical emergency. New York's finest. New York's bravest together. Thank you. you so much. Commissioner Howard Safer, former New York Fire Department Commissioner. Happy New Year. Thank you so much for getting on the phone and letting our viewers understand what's going on here. We so appreciate it.